Hey, campers, Georgia, with Mary. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? Today is a red letter day. So Mary's joining me for this special day. What special day, you say? This happened today. Yeah. 5,000 subscribers. What can I say? Never thought I'd see that happen. But I thought, spoke to the boss, you know, the one in charge here. And she said, you got to do a giveaway. So I thought, huh, she's right, you know. You guys deserve it. So let's check it out. So I just got back from a four-day camping trip up north to the annual winter symposium. The second time going up there, I go up there with Lee. You know Lee, one of the usual suspects that we go trudging or camping with. While I was up there, 5,000 subscribers happened. Well, I couldn't get out there and make a video because I was in the middle of nowhere in the forests up north. So when I got back, Mary was here and said, we got to do this. So we're doing it. So I thought I'd let Mary choose. She chose. <laughs> Can you tell? If you've been following my channel, you obviously know I like to go on walkabouts, a day walkabout or maybe a quick overnight, uh, things like that. So what I thought I would do is give you guys something to show my appreciation. Mary was insistent on it. So here we are. And I, I, I didn't know what I should be giving. And uh, Mary gave me some ideas. And one of them was this guy. This is my walkabout day pack from Modding Top. They really make good packs. This one I've had for a while. And I've used it a lot. And it still looks brand new. And Mary, as you saw, was inspecting it to make sure everything was in place. The only thing I did to it that still you can see is I wrote first aid on here because that's where I kept my first aid kit. So that if anything happened, people knew to look right in there for it. So I thought, I'll give you a pack. So there you go. Kidding. Actually, it's going to have something in it. Think about that as well. What you really need to know, and that's the important part, how do you get into this thing? How do you try and win this? Well, it's easy. Be a subscriber. And if you want, like and share the video. Even better, like and share the video you first watched or your favorite one. And all you have to do in the comments is say, done, this is the video. And we're all good. If you're a new subscriber and you're not sure, that's okay. As long as you're a subscriber, I don't have a problem with it. Mary did. But we argued and here we are. I won for once. <laughs> we have the modern top, 25 liter backpack, you can see it here. It's just a simple, like all my packs. Obviously I, I can't use this anymore and if you watch my channel you know why. I can only use a, a sling pack now. So all my packs are no use to me anymore. I've had to go to sling packs. And this was my favorite day walkabout pack. In here I would put everything I need to go on a day walk about and make myself a cup of coffee or a quick meal and just wander around and have a good time and come on home and just enjoy a day in, in the outdoors. And I thought, well, why don't I do something like that for one of my subscribers? So that's what we're going to do. But wait, there'll be three of you. The main guy gets the pack and all the goodies. The two other people will get, well, you'll see. So, Let's have at it. Modding top, 25 liter backpack. Has a, a lot of molly on it, so you can put attachments if you want to hang a canteen or something on the outside. It has a little front pouch here. Down at the bottom, like I said, I kept my, uh, uh, I have a, a first aid kit that I used to just put in there with just the basics, bandages, bleed stop, a couple of other things. Usual stuff you get in the, the the random first aid kits that are out there. It does have a little pouch on the side there. It's a zippered pouch and you can put stuff in there. And on this side, works great. So you got that, the two on the side, and then there's a, a pouch on the front flap, which allows you to put stuff in there and you can put your phone or whatever you want in here, your quick access stuff. 
it, like I said, it has a, lot, a whole bunch of molly on it. And it has this Velcro here. And if you have badges that you want to stick to it, you can put them there. Very plain. There is very little padding on the back here. But it wasn't designed to carry a bunch of stuff and for days and days out there. That's why I used it as a day pack. It worked great for me. It really works well. The straps, you can see the straps come over here. They are padded. Not a lot of padding, but enough. And it does have my favorite thing, a chest strap. And if, if you do any sort of backpacking, anything, not having a chest strap or a tummy strap, you might as well throw the pack away because you walk around like this with the weight pulling you there. This will help it sit up on your back better. It's all adjustable. You can see it there. It has the chest strap up here and then it even has the belly strap down here. All adjustable. So that's the main thing there. But I thought I can't just give a pack. I'm going to have to put something in it. Isn't that a tradition? Let's have a look what we got. Go get them, Mary. Go get the stuff that we talked about. Well, okay, I'll do it. It's all over here. When I first really started going out and camping and doing walkabouts and day things, I wanted something that was nice and simple that I could carry in there and I can cook, make a cup of coffee in it, that sort of thing, and just use a regular gas burner or a uh, alcohol burner for it. It was light, compact, and everything like that. My favorite... Uh, I've got it hidden somewhere. I used was the Stanley two cup system. This guy here. Now, I wasn't going to give you mine because it's really battered. It's been through the wars. I still use it. It still works great. Took a quick trip down to Walmart, dusted off the wallet and got the new one. It's a little bit different to my one and it's probably better. And it's a, this guy here, and they call it the two cup cook set. And it has the lid. The nice thing about the lid, it does have the drain holes here. Great to have because you can, if you're doing noodles or something, a quick meal like that, you leave the cap on, you can drain the water out and there's your noodles and off you go for a quick snack. I take this off. They tend to melt. So I take these off and I put a little, like the key ring holder, you put your keys on, those little round things. Put it in there and you can put a stick in there and lift it up without burning your fingers. And it's, it's, it's going to be hot. I will do that for you. Inside, you have a cup. Now it should have two. This one has one. Mary likes to drink tea in the morning and she took one of them. I'll think I have another one and I'll put it in there because I never use them. I just drank out of this when I made my coffee in here, I cooked in here, I did everything. The nice thing about these is they do have markings on them here. You can see it there. It tells you the milliliters or ounces. And it's marked down here so you can fill according to whatever you're cooking. Really great. It'll go in a fire, no problem. Use a gas burner or an alcohol stove. I used to cook in a fire all the time. I'd just put it in the coals and before you knew it, you'll... Water was boiled and added your coffee and I just drank out of them. I used to put things in here. I had a gas burner, one that I'd had for a hundred thousand years. Here it is here. This is the Coleman Peak One. Probably the, the best stove I ever bought. This thing is a tank. It still works today. I've had it for 10 years and it still works great. I just choose to use some of the newer ones that I looked at and but this if I'm in trouble this is the one I'm taking it's not lightweight though it actually fits right in there so there you have it the two cup cook set that'll go in the pack do you think it'll fit Mary does that fit okay does that look good are we good all right what else did we get you're gonna need something to carry some water or coffee or whatever you carry when you go on a little quick hike. So, I have this guy. Stainless steel canteen with a lid on it, seals up nicely. I found these handy. This is not one of, it's not a uh, thermos. It doesn't have a dual skin on it. It's a single sided canteen. Why? If you put water in here, you can just put this straight in the coals on your fire and boil the water in this. It's not going to explode because it's not a thermos. It's just a single walled canteen. 
And I like stainless steel because I can put it in the fire if I need to. So you can be using your Stanley to cook your meal and this to boil your water in for your coffee. Huh, how about that? On the In the fire if you want to, or just put it on your gas burner or your alcohol burner. So we got that. That's great. Well, I said you have a cup. I don't know about you. I'm not a fan of these for coffee cups. They work just fine, but I like a handle on mine. Or I just prefer a bigger one because I drink a lot of coffee. We need to make this into a nesting system. This is the only one I have, and you can see it's well used. This used to go on my clean canteen, which I still use. And it sits right there in there, and you can put it in your pack, and it's all together as well. You boil your water in here, you pour it, you drink your coffee, it's got a handle on it. Just like that, you're not going to burn your hands. And look how big a cup of coffee you can make. Awesome! So now you've got a water carrier. We'll put that in there. What do you think, Mary? Go in there? All right. Look, it fits. We looking good? You're going to need to heat your water and everything if you can't make a fire in the middle of the bush. You don't want to do that. You want to use a designated fire spot or make sure it's safe by putting rocks around and all that good stuff. Most of the places I go on a day walk is a local park or county park or state park. And I don't like open fires unless it's a designated fire spot. You get yourself one of these. This guy is an alcohol stove. And if you're not familiar with them, I'll just... I don't even think I've used this one. I have my own, which was really beat up, and I don't want to give you that either. This is a here. You, you've probably seen these. And it even has a little stand like that and put something on it. You'll have alcohol in here and you just light it. You see these little holes at the top here? That's where the flames come up. So you're sitting there with that. You've got this on top and you can adjust your heat with this guy as to how much heat you want coming out. They work pretty good. When it's full, it'll run for about, I'm going to say 15 minutes. That's the only limitation it has. If you're not a fan of alcohol stoves, well, what do you do? Deal with it. <laughs> no, kidding. I'm going to put this in here and it comes in a nice little bag. And you would carry a little bottle of alcohol with you and you can just top it up when you need it. I don't know if I can fit it in there because Mary's in there. We'll put it in there anyway. There you go. Are you having a good time with this? Let's see what else we got. I have a pot. This guy here. See it? It's in a bag. And you can open it up. Yep, it's used. I've been there, done that with this. It has a lid on it. It has the little drainy things on it. And you can see I put that ring on it. Okay. Now, this is titanium. So it's really, really light and sturdy. Is It has a bale. So you can put a stick on there and hang it over a fire or whatever you need to do. Or if you want to lift some, lift it off wherever it is. And that sits on there like that and it goes in the bag. This is a Vulcan, I think. Volt cam. You can see it there. I like this stuff. They have a bunch of different things and a lot of different options. Why am I giving you this? Because of that. Look at that. This has a lot of room in it, and I, I think this is 500. Yeah, 500 milliliter one. They have a 750, I think, and a 250, I'm not sure. But I like to put things in it because it saves me room, and I wrap a little cloth around it. It's not a clean cloth. You might want to wash and clean the stuff before you use it. I'm not going to do that. That's your job. I can't do everything. I wrap a cloth around it because I don't think things rattle Okay, and you're wondering what this is? Well, if you don't like the alcohol stove and you want to use a one burner, you get this guy. And you can see here, you just open it up. These slide around. Can you see that? They open up. And there you've got your place to sit. Okay, you've got your control here for your gas control. Open, close. Okay, it's just like any other gas burner, except this has a piezo lighter. You can see it on the side here. You turn the gas on and you just click. You hear that click? This sparks here and the gas ignites and you're ready to go and you adjust the level that you... You have to be safe with it and you make sure that you know what the safety precautions are. 
I'll go through really quickly. Otherwise, this is going to be like an hour. When you screw the canister on, once it's on and you have it nice and firm, don't over tighten it. You just want it hand tight. Smell and make sure it's not leaking when it's put on there. When you open this, you'll hear the gas. Hit the piezo, gas lights up and adjust the flame that you want. Be safe with it and please don't use these things indoors. If you're going to do it in your tent, you want to make sure the door's open and it's well ventilated, okay? goes in this little box. The fuel it uses is the mix. It's not propane. These guys, see these? These ones are, this one's from Common. See that? A couple of different people make it. You can go to any, any store that has a, an outdoor place and they'll have this sort of stuff. And you can see the connector there so that when you screw it on, it punches through there. The nice thing is off, they self seal. So if you don't use all the gas, you only use a little bit because you made yourself a cup of coffee, but you still got a full one. When you unscrew it, it self seals. However, once again, snuff. Make sure it does self seal. I cannot ship this to you. So you're going to have to get it yourself if you're going to use the gas burner. Uh, how much they cost? I think they cost about six bucks. And they last quite a long time. As long as you're not just turning that burner up full steam all the time, they last forever. And this is called Butane Propane Mix. I know there's other names for it. Uh, I forget uh, what, what people refer to them as. Uh, oh, Blended Fuel. Performance Blended Fuel. You can see on the top there. And this is the Coleman one. Oh, I forgot. I'll include this in there. And this is from Voltcan as well. And it's one of those fold-out spoons, uh, which is normally what I take with me. But you, you, they do come in sets. You can get the spoon, the fork, and the knife. And they all work pretty, go, pretty well. You can see here. Can you see this thing here? It's got the little tabs on it. When you slide that in and you push it in and it, it covers that little pit, and you, these don't move. And when you want to fold it up, pull it out and it just folds away. It fits right in there. We're running out of room in here. Wow. Okay, what else we got? I thought about this and I thought, what really got me here? What got you guys to come and watch? Right now, my number one video that has got the most views and the most sus subscribers, yeah, an Oppenol knife. And it was this guy. And this is the Oppenol number 12, the no, Explorer. And it is a Oppenol number 12. It isn't a, just a giant Oppenol knife. They come in different sizes. But the Explorer only comes in one size, the number 12. Now, what I'll do is in the description below, I will put links to any videos that show any, any of the stuff that I did. Because typically, if I have it, I've done a review on it. So there'll be a bunch of links below. Uh, not for everything, obviously, but for most of them. And one of them is this one here. And it's the uh, Oppenol number 12. But this is a stainless steel one. Has that saber point on it, that flat grind. And, ooh, slippery sharp. Okay, and it folds in just like all the other Oppenols. It has the viral lock here. You can see there. See that? So it locks in knife. Doesn't have the wood handle. It's a rubberized handle. Very grippy. And it has this gizmo up here. Now, there's a lot going on here. It has a built-in whistle. It has a, this, you can hang it, whatever you want to use that for. And then this slides across and you've got a gut hook or a cord cutter. The whole thing comes apart. This pulls out. You see that? It's a fire starter, a ferro rod. It's sitting right in there. That's a very quick look at it, okay? If you're the winner, you might want to just check that video out because I do go through it all exactly how it works. Oppenol 12 Explorer. And you should never be outdoors without a knife. And why not have a survival knife? I made a little. It doesn't come with a sheath. Well, I made one for it to go in there. And you can see it right there. And it can sit on your belt. You don't have to. You can just throw it in the pack like this. There you go. What do you think? Yeah, well, I'm not done. Wait a minute. See this here? This is a new thing from Oppenol. 
the Oppenal Picnic. And if you look there, it has a spoon and fork in it. Pretty cool, huh? It made a whole sheath to hold the whole bang shoot in it because it's not just a, knife, a fork and spoon. This is pretty cool. And I made this pouch just to put it in here. Now you don't need to use the pouch for that. You can use the pouch for whatever you want and just keep it like this because you might be carrying it a little bit differently. Is the setup right here all folded up very cool? Okay. We're getting into the video here, so I need to make it shorter. In there, you can see the setup. This is an Oppenal number eight, the standard Oppenal. The most popular Oppenel knife in the world today, the, the most sought of little knife. And this is the Inox, which is stainless steel. No problem there. And they have these little doohickey things where you can slide it in. Well, you go, well, what about the fork and spoon? Here they are, here, you see? No, <laughs> that makes it a little short, but look at this. When you close up your Oppenel, there's a gap in there. You see that? Okay. You see, it, it goes in that way and there's only way you'll know to, you'll know when you see it it slides in and then you close the viral lock you got your spoon look at that it's an open old spoon you can eat with and the fork same thing put it in there lock up your let me get this in there you can see it slide in there and then i lock it in and you've got a fork they have these things here and that's to lock the, the spoon and fork together so that they sit together and, yep, they have a little slot for it on your picnic cloth, like that. And you wrap them up all very nice. And you have a little rubber band here. And, well, yeah, elastic rubber, whatever, rubber. Hold it all together, the pouch for you. And you can stuff this in there. And put it on your belt along with your Explorer. That's what you get if you're a subscriber and I'll pull your name out. It'll be a random drawing, okay? Uh, I'll use a, a random comment generator. And if you're a subscriber or you're new first time and you've subscribed, you get this. But wait. Something else on my channel that you may have noticed. Nudge, nudge. Spam. I get a lot of comments on my spam hat. So, yeah, you can have my spam hat. No, kidding. <laughs> You'll get one of these. This one here. I ordered them from the Spam Museum. There'll be a link below if you want to get more or you want to get a different. So you'll get one of these hats as well. It's kind of a one size fits all or most. The only difference between this one and the one you get, the new ones on this one, it says Spam Brand. Okay. On the new ones, it says Spam Original. You got yourself a Spam hat. I'll probably throw in a Spam sticker with it. Because I can. Speaking of stickers, the small little 2CG sticker. The big little 2CG sticker. And that doll will be the first place winner. The first one I draw. I'm going to give a little bit more. So I'm going to give up two other things. And they will be the stickers. My stickers a spam sticker, and a spam hat. The hats will not be the same. One will be like this, the other one, the navy. So there you go. All you have to do is subscribe, and if you want to, put in the comments which was the first video you watched, or your favorite video you've watched. That's it. When am I gonna do this? Good question. Today is Sunday. I'm gonna give it 10 days from today. On this day, I'll do the drawing and post the winners. If you're the winner, I'll explain there how to get hold of me so that I can put this all into a little box and ship it off to you. You have to be in the US. Sorry, guys. One of the things is I'm not going to be able to ship a knife. UK especially, and I know there's a bunch of you. That Explorer, I think, is illegal. I'm not sure. The blade's a little wee diddly long and it is a folding knife. So I'm not sure what the laws are, but that's one of the reasons. The other reasons is it would cost me a lot of money to ship it to you. So if you're in the US, yeah, you are. Okay. I know the guys outside. I'm sorry. Um, if I draw somebody from outside, 
I'm more than willing to send you, you know, a sticker or whatever, anything like that. Or maybe even I'll send the caps and that sort of stuff. It's going to take a while to get to you, but I'll get it to you. So there you go. Ten days from today, I will. It'll be a very quick video, and uh, if you're the winner, you just get hold of me. You guys are awesome, and to be honest, never thought I'd ever see five thousand subscribers. My kids said to me, "If I keep going, I'd, I'd have it at the end of the year." They were even surprised that it came before the end of the year, and you and me both. <laughs> I was unprepared for it. When I got all the way driving back from the camping, I was like, what am I going to do? And then uh, I walked in the door and Mary told me what to do. So here we are. You will be safe out there. And I'll let you know who the winners are in 10 days. Just saying. And don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know how that works. The sharing and that, you don't have to do it. Just be a subscriber. That's all I ask. I'll see you soon. You will take care now.